This week we've been working on both inside and outside projects and we decided to add a little bit of light to our driveway. I'm going to show you what that now looks like. I'm also going to share with you a really cute Easter project that I've been working on and I'm going to reveal something about the Thirsty Whippet pub that you probably don't know as well as giving you some really exciting news about our Easter weekend which is just coming up. And don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, make sure you hit subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Lady Smith Manor Diaries, to ensure that you see all our videos when we first put them out. But first, let me show you what we've been up to this week. It's Easter this weekend, and uh, we have afternoon teas here at the manor. And I was looking for something that I could put in the entrance hallway that had a bit of height uh, with my teacups that we put out for everyone to choose for the afternoon teas. And I've come up with this little project, very, very simple, um, and I think it's going to be really effective and really cute. So uh, all I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself a little Easter egg tree. So it's kind of like the idea is similar to my Christmas tree. We, uh, I just have, I've got this, uh, it's got some moss at the bottom and then basically it's a big twig. So you can really go and get something from outside, you know, as long as it's got some branches on it. Um, I've got it in this moss but you could definitely put it just in, a, in a, a vase and have some branches hanging in a vase. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating these little Easter eggs that I'm gonna hang from all the different branches. Uh, and very simple, I went to the dollar store and I found these little eggs. Um, I've just got some ribbon, but you could use pretty much anything if you had some twine. Um, I've got some one here that's got a little bit of glitter to it with the gold, whatever takes your fancy and I'm using my trusty hot glue gun. Uh, and uh, basically all I'm gonna do is cut a little bit of ribbon. Uh, I'm gonna cut it about there. And I'm just creating a loop with it. Uh, and then I'm gonna hot glue the two ends together so that they are uh, stuck together. And then I'm gonna hot glue my egg to the ribbon. And that's it. And then I'm gonna hang them on the tree. So let's choose some different colors. Now, you, again, you could do this in any different way. You could do it with uh, little ornaments, you could do it with flowers, you could do eggs, you could do whatever you fancied. But I just like the idea of, of creating a little tree just with the very, very simple um, hanging eggs on there. And like I say, you could really make it quite pretty. You could put some flowers, or you could be as creative as you want to be. Uh, but it's just a very simple, and sometimes I find it's the simple ideas that have the most impact. Uh, and I actually have some branches just like this up in my office. And I actually have some of my favorite Christmas ornaments on them. Some of my mice from Christmas, and I have them there all year. Um, they just make me smile and uh, I just love the kind of idea of using the natural material and then creating something very simple out of it. Um, so we put this one here. So I'm just going to do enough to fill it and uh, then I'll put this in my uh, hallway. So I've just been down to my flower supply and I've just got a whole bunch of different um, artificial flowers that I have in stock and I've just found some really tiny little ones uh, which I'm just gonna add into uh, my branches just to give a little bit of color and uh, a little bit of floral um, addition to my uh, eggs. So my finished Easter tree is looking quite pretty with uh, I just added some a few flowers to the bottom there and it's got my hanging eggs and a few flowers in the branches and then this dresser is going to be covered and filled with teacups so that when everyone arrives uh, they will be able to choose their teacup for the afternoon tea. This week we decided our driveway needed a little bit more light and we are going to be adding a decorative fence along here but for now, we have picked up some solar lights 
and we're adding four along the edge of the driveway just to illuminate it just a little. The end result is four lights that will guide you now along the driveway towards the map. You probably know that we have various different clothing pieces that have our Thirsty Whip It logo on. Like this hoodie that I'm wearing. Uh, we've also got a variety of different t-shirts. We've got this blue one. Um, we've also got this really cool green. I actually really like this green color. And we have a gold logo on this one. Uh, we also have a really nice kind of pinky colored one with a big logo sold out of that one. So they'll be coming back in. Uh, we also have some caps. Uh, in green, pink, and blue. But uh, you've probably seen them in the pub. If you've been in, you'll know that we have those. But did you know that if you come and visit the Thirsty Whippet pub wearing one of the t-shirts, the cap, or a hoodie, we will give you 10% off your total bill. So ah, I bet you didn't know that, right? So this is something that we have just introduced and uh, we're really excited because we love seeing people wearing our logo and uh, our shirts and our sweatshirts. Uh, so we thought, why not? Let's give anyone who comes in to the pub wearing one of our uh, Thirsty Whippets. Now that would also include if you have one of our tote bags. If you come in using your tote bag, uh, we will give you 10% off your total bill uh, when you come to the pub. So when you're next in, to the, in the pub, make sure you pick up a sweatshirt or a t-shirt or a hat so that you can wear it when you come next time and then get your 10% off. And we will be getting lots more um, different items coming in. We're also gonna have some dog goodies that are gonna be coming in. So over the summer, we'll be introducing more items so there'll be more things that you can wear and use and bring in and get your 10% off. Uh, but for now, if you've got a Thirsty Whip It t-shirt, make sure you wear it next time you come. Uh, and if you don't, make sure you drop in and pick one up. As you know, we love finding old and new treasures. And this week we received an old treasure in the mail and we actually found some new treasures when we were out shopping. And I have to show you this because it is just so adorable. So we found these pictures when we were in home sensible places and this just as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, we have to get that for the pub. And we we just had to laugh because we were like, oh my gosh, it's Hendrik's girlfriend. But uh, I have to say the face really reminds me of Kobe, our pup that we lost last year. And obviously this is a girl, but uh, the, the face just makes me think of Kobe. And uh, the dress, and it just is so adorable. So this picture will be going somewhere in the pub. I've just got to figure out where. Uh, so that was our first find. And then we found two more pictures. These ones are a little smaller. And uh, there's one, there's two. So there's a queen and a king and uh, the playing cards. And I just thought, we just thought it would be again, another cute addition to the pub decor because uh, we've just bought some playing cards. We've got some packs now here at the pub. So if you come down to the pub and would like to play, to borrow some and play a game with your friends, we've got cards, we've got dominoes, we've got checkers. We're gonna be adding some more games as well. And we encourage you to bring your own board games. If you've got a board game that you enjoy that you would like to bring to the pub and uh, spend an afternoon or evening playing, please do. Uh, so again, these are just a nice addition, I think, uh, to the decor. I think these ones may go up on one of the shelves in the pub, um, but I'm not sure yet. That's going to be my next decision. I'm going to have to go down and kind of play around with them and see where they're going to go. So next time you come to the pub, you'll have to keep an eye out for them and uh, see where whether you can spot them somewhere. And this one, she kind of needs a name, I think. So if you can think of a name for her, um, please let me know, comment and let me know what you think she should be called um, because uh, she definitely needs a name so that we can uh, all uh, see her when we come to the pub and call her by name. So let me know what you think about the name. Now, the old treasures that we found or we received are these. Now these were sent to us by Dean and uh, she's in BC and uh, I was so excited when I got this box and opened it because uh, these are so, so cool. And the question is, do you know what it is? And uh, 
I'd love to know. If you think you know what these are, comment below and tell me what you think. We've actually got two. She sent us two. She's got two here. And they're both really unique. I love them. Um, and we're going to be finding a really cool spot in the pub um, for these as well. But like I say, do you know what they are? So uh, make a comment or uh, below and let me know what you think these are because, uh, and then we'll reveal the answer. But uh, just such a fun, unique find. And so thank you, a huge thank you to Dean. We really appreciate you sending us these. Um, just love them. They're gonna find uh, a new spot in the uh, pub. And uh, again, when you come into the pub, you'll be able to go and uh, look around, see if you can find where I put them. This weekend, we have two really exciting things happening. Now, the first one is Easter, obviously, and uh, we have some really fun Easter specials happening at the Thirsty Whippet Pub. So we have created uh, two drinks, or we've decided to serve two drinks that kind of have an Easter flavor to them. So the first one is our Lemoncello Gin Fizz. Now, this is, I would describe it as a lemon meringue pie in a glass, if that's possible in a drink. It is an amazing lemony uh, drink with this just fabulous whipped foam that looks like meringue on the top. And it tastes absolutely delicious. It's definitely up there with one of my favorite drinks. Um, so we're, we're kind of going with the kind of lemon, the fresh sp spring feel for Easter. And then we're also gonna be serving espresso martinis. Now, espresso martinis are that coffee, kind of have a chocolatey feel to it. So I was kind of thinking chocolate, Easter, Easter eggs. You can see the connection, right? So uh, we will be serving the espresso martinis and our lemoncello gin fizz all weekend because we're gonna be open Good Friday, Easter Saturday, is that a thing, Easter Saturday? A Saturday and Easter Sunday. So we're open all weekend from 2 p.m. till 10 p.m. And we'll be serving those specials all weekend. Along with our regular menu, where we've got lots of choices for you, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, if you're not, you're driving or you're not drinking. Um, and we've also got some new gins in. So if you love gin, we love gin here at the Manor. And uh, we have an amazing collection in the pub and each, uh, we're, we're adding new ones. So we've got a couple of new gins that you will not want to miss. So uh, come on down this weekend, drop by on Friday, Saturday or Sunday between two and 10. We'd love to see you uh, enjoy a special or try a gin and tonic or uh, one of our other drinks um, over Easter because uh, like I say, we'd love to see your face in the pub. So that's the first thing, Easter. Easter specials, great drinks. But the second really exciting thing this weekend is tomorrow on Good Friday, 29th of uh, March, we will be releasing the tickets to our James Mullinger live stand-up comedy show. So this is our grand opening performance uh, or James's performance at our grand opening weekend. And our, this weekend is gonna be on the 21st to the 23rd of June. So James's performance is on Saturday the 22nd. We're releasing tickets tomorrow morning. We have a wait list of people who have already signed up to get that email first. Um, so you can go onto our website and uh, if you want to get your name on that wait list so you get the email first thing in the morning, you can do that tonight. Um, and I will be sending out an email to uh, the wait list first and then the rest of our email list later in the day and then it will be posted onto social media. So you can get tickets to come and see James Mullinger live. But I've also got to tell you that weekend, we have two other events. So on the Friday, the 21st of June, on the Friday night, we are gonna be having our official opening. We're gonna be cutting the ribbon and doing the official opening of the Thirsty Whippet. We're gonna have music, we're gonna have drinks. It's gonna be a really fun evening. And then on the Sunday, we are gonna have a very unique event called Paws and Pints. And this is where you can bring your four-legged friend. You can bring your pup down. And this is gonna be an event that's out on the terrace, so it's dog friendly. We encourage you to bring your dogs. We're gonna have uh, Hendrix and Jackson will be there. We are gonna have the Crafty Beast Brewing Company there with their dog beer. We'll be serving in dog bowls. We're gonna have dog treats. Uh, we're gonna have a doggy photo booth so you can uh, take some photos. And we're even gonna have our Paws and Pints British themed dog costume competition. 
so you can dress your dog up in some kind of British themed outfit and bring him or her down and we will have a contest where they, you can win some really fun Thirsty Whippet goodies. So all the information is on the page that we will be releasing tomorrow with all the information about the, uh, the uh, events. Uh, the Friday night and the Sunday, you don't require tickets. We'll have the times and we'll be promoting it. I'll be posting it lots more times between now and then. Um, and you can just come on down. The James Mullinger event, it is a ticketed event. You will need a ticket to come to that. So that, like I say, that's gonna be released tomorrow. But we are so excited about this weekend because we have, it's been such a long road to get the Thirsty Whippet open. And so for us to celebrate, we just really wanted to celebrate it for a whole weekend, not just one event. So we are so looking forward to seeing everyone on that weekend. And like I say, I will be sharing a lot more information between now and then, but I wanted you to be the first to know, because like I say, tomorrow is gonna to be the first day that we release all that information about all the different events. And uh, so I wanted to share it here first. Well, I am gonna enjoy my coffee and I'm gonna get back to work because uh, we have afternoon teas here this weekend for Easter. So we're getting set up for those. Um, I'm gonna get my Easter projects and finish my decorating. And uh, I will see you back here for our next episode of the Ladies with Manor Diaries next week. <laughs>